Hey -o, Thalion here, and welcome back to Chubnotica, a game where I swim around and also kind of get scared. By the way, if it looks like I have been crying or feeling emotional distress, don't mind that. I was just playing a game over on Twitch literally right before uh, recording this episode called Necrobarista, and it made me like very sad, very emotional, the big sad, the big sad of Roonies. But this video is not about Necrobarista and how the way that it makes me feel the big sad on Twitch, but it is about Shubnautica. This structure is composed of a metal oh. alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is integrity. Performing structural analysis. Can I scan it? No? Okay, well, it is self scan. It does say infected. Ooh, this is so cool. But actually, somebody reminded me, or by somebody reminded me, I mean somebody told me in the comments to do this, so now that has reminded me now in the future. I need to read about this here warper. Because Warper is an interesting name, and it didn't look like... Okay, so, like, I guess it could technically be uh, a form of reasonable or natural on this strange alien planet, but there's something about it, right? And it's warping abilities that make it feel engineered. So I want to see if there's anything here. An aggressive creature with the ability to teleport itself and others in space. No genetic crossover identified with indigenous life forms. Demonstrates no recognized defense behavior. The head. Mechanisms located in the head region provide its warping capability, which is used as to stalk its targets. Why was it stalking me? Because it kept coming towards me, and I was, I was assuming that it would hurt, try to hurt me. Appears to hunt other life forms, but no digestive organs, organs have been identified. Internal structure considerably more complex than other known organisms. Been able to dis distinguish whether organic or artificial in nature. I'm going to guess it's artificial. It was made by these alien dudes or something else related to them. But why was it just, like, observing me and hunting me? Would it have attacked me if I let it get close? I don't know. Also, this place is really nice. This is this is a nice building. I like it. Can I take some of this material back? That would be awesome. Hello? It is very convenient that you have put this here. Should I scan you? Data turn. Oh, download data. Unknown language. Attempting translation. That sounds important. Yes. Alien data terminal. Discovered inside an alien facility. It was not possible to translate any useful information. Damn it, why are you even good for computers? However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It is likely a solid state computer, although there's no clear way to interface with it because we're stupid humans. And on approach, it began to producing a low frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It's likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand information being broadcast by the device and communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Interesting. So yeah, super advanced alien race that can touch things with their mind have built this place, which is cool. Ah, oh, there are more things for me to find. Hello. To the left now, y'all? Is that an ion cube? Is that an ion cube rooney? Let me just scan that. Hey. There we go. This green mineral substance has no entry on the periodic table and has been an unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy. Uh, likely uses batteries. It can oh, have equivalent ionic energy of five kilotons of TNT, because that's a thing. But yeah, let me just take this. I'm just going to... Ooh, it's so pretty. Look at how cool it is. It's like a Minecraft block. Oh, well, thank you for dispersing that to me. I appreciate it. Now, what can I do to move forward as I proceed? Open Sasami. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Uh, lower section? Control room? Is that what this thing is over here? Oh no, I just completely missed the path. ...on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. It could be both, in theory. They could, like, literally have a living history on their wall that, like, is also art, which would be really cool. It's also really interesting. Thank you for your power source, your alien power source. Wow, this is really neat. Not where I expected coming in here. Vu scan. Uh, data terminal. Yeah, attempt that translation. Attempting translation. Yep, do that. This data set appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic, multi-dimensional schematic, because that's just something we deal with every day uh, of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional spaces, it's possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's inner workings. The construction material. The facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra-hard, non-reactive metal amalgam synthesized from off-world materials. So this race of aliens actually had inter like interstellar flight. Makes sense. They were far more advanced than us, but that confirms it. There's no indication it can be damaged or destroyed by available means. The schematics indicate the facility was to be powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. 
Location is not listed, but there is further evidence that the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. The facility consists of the upper engineering section, which, uh, where this schematic was found, and the control room, which is accessed via a sealed sh uh, security shield elevator shaft or a separate under underwater moon pool. Oh, so I can go in through the bottom. Okay. The control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operation. Okay. So I actually, so I'm guessing the elevator is a no-go because I don't have the technological doohickeys or, oh God, I should not have ran here willy-nilly. Okay, that's technically an elevator. Sure, sure, a pit down to death is technically an elevator as long as it gives you enough gravity. We're 993 meters under. Ooh, force field control, right? Okay. So this is the underwater moon pool. Well, hello. So I could have entered here. Probably don't want to head out here willy-nilly. Oh, but I kind of do. I don't have I don't have my rebreather though. So it's going to get a little sketchy for me. But let's go over here. Let's go interface with the facility, whatever that means. Oh, wait, wait, what's this over here? This looks interesting. Alien rifle hell diggity. Yeah, let's go. Let's get a boomstick. Data bank entry, but also schematic maybe? Uh, strong resemblance to human human weaponry and form. This device must have been uh, designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens that built the structure were themselves humanoid or otherwise employed the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear that they have considered defending this facility and necessary precaution. There's no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. Well, about that. Boom. And by obvious way, you mean exactly what I'm doing. Okay, apparently the knife is not an effective way of removing the rifle from the case. Should have guessed, but you know, you never know. Maybe they didn't invent knives, so they didn't anticipate it. More ion cube. Inventory full, full schmool. Let's go. Let me. I stacked my inventory full of Bulbo tree samples because you guys are wonderful and you let me know that that was a wise thing to do. So now I can have more ion cubes. That leads up. This leads down. This looks like it's the same room, so I might as well head up here. Or does it. Oh, God. How. How expansive is this room? How. How it. Ooh. Hello. How are you? It's a different color than usual. Purple tablet. Thank you. There's a lot of junk in this trunk and I need to find it all. Oh, what are you, alien device? Well, hello. Is it interacting with my scanner? Or is it, no, is it, it doomsday device? What? Scans indicate that this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it's malfunction. It's also kind of coming at me. I'm gonna leave now. Um, I, why do they just leave that shit lying around? Okay, so I can force field this nonsense. Okay. Let me go back down, very carefully circumventing the very angry doomsday device. And let's go check out the bottom floor real quick. Hello? Anything of interest in here? Oh, a Stargate! Hey, can I get the coordinates for this one? Or something? Or does the Stargate up above lead down to the facility? Is that, a, is that a method of entry? Like, if I were to activate the Stargate up above with the eye, which I probably can do with the Ion Cube. Ooh, do I get quick access down here? Hi. Please don't look at me. What is wrong with you? Okay, how do I activate this? Or how do I deactivate this, I should say? Yes, insert tablet. Let's go. Just bleep. If you're going to leave your keys lying around, why even make locks? Like, honestly. Thank you. I didn't know if running through that prematurely would completely eviscerate my like poor, fragile human body, but I took a chance. I took a chance. Hello. So if I had come in here, so this was a giant fucking cannon, right? If I had come in here, could I have disabled the cannon and saved the sunbeam? Is that a thing? Probably not. Interact. What's this do? Should have scanned first. Oh God. Hi! Oh, hi! Yeah, how you doing? Oh, no, God, fuck, 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 don't do that! Why would you do that? Oh. Uh. Hi? The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. <gasps> this planet is under quarantine. Oh! How? Oh! That's interesting. Interesting. 
Intercept the background data regarding future alien facilities elsewhere on the planet. Disease research facility, 800 meters. Okay, so that's a goal. Interesting. Objective synthesis of an antidote for highly infectious bacteria designed designated Kara. Okay, so here we go. We have an objective. So we are infected. So there was a big question about like what infected meant, at least for me. But I, I wondered why, because I had a theory that this planet was being protected for some reason. I assumed that it was like a zoo, like for wildlife. But it seems like, it seems like the aliens designed the planet's security systems to quarantine it because they're worried about this this strange disease, this bacterium. But what is the what is the danger of it? Who? Thermal power facility, 1,200 meters hot, diggity damn. Um, sanctuary A did a corrupted sanctuary B, offsite labor. There's so much here. In the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft. Incoming and outgoing craft to prevent the spread of infection off world. So if I'm going to leave this planet, even if I could make my own ride, it will shoot me out of the sky if I don't disable these guns. Or this gun, these guns. How do I get my gun from down here? I would like it. Hello, can you not look at me? I think that's pretty much all I can discover over here. That was kind of a huge dead end, but that gives me so many objectives. Okay. Okay. Is that why the warper was observing me? Because I'm infected? <gasps> oh, that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to try something incredibly dumb now. Hello? Um, actually, I'm... Yeah. Actually, I'm going to pass on the moon pool, using the moon pool. But I can't come here in another vehicle. I just, like, I was like, oh, yeah, that'll be fine. Zoom me up. Beam me up. But I'm worried I'll run out of oxygen. This was both far more informative than I expected and also a lot shorter. I expected it to be longer. Like going through the Aurora, that was a huge, huge adventure. But this was pretty direct. It gave me all the information I needed very quickly. Now, I don't remember because it's been a while since I played if the, um, the Stargate up above needed an ion cube. So I feel like maybe, but I'm going to go check real quick before I head back to base. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Insert ion cube. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought that this was a thing. Okay, now, is this going to... Whoa, that looks cool. Oh, my God. That looks so cool. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's go. Whoosh. Yep, just pass right on through. Hello. Yo, this animation's neat. I'm digging it. I'm assuming it's taking me down below, but what if it's taking me somewhere else? <gasps> oh god, it took me somewhere way farther out. Oh god. Not too much farther than I was from my original life pod, but maybe in the opposite direction? Hello? Pick up speckled rattler? I, I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Where am I? Again, every time I'm like, yeah, there, I know what's going on this episode. I know. Wait, I thought. No, it went rotten. Oh, God, it went rotten. I didn't realize. Oh, God, so it's been subtracting my health. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. I'm running low on resources now. That went from me stocking up really well to being low on resources. That's okay. I'll just come out here and maybe there'll be some bulbo trees. And if it's not, I can just pop right back out, right? And um, we'll be fine. Look at how tropical this is. This is lovely. What a lovely environment. What was it again to check my environment? F9, F10, 11. Nope, nope, not screenshot. F12, nope, nope, F F1? F1, what environment I am? Floating island, okay, that's, okay, thank you. Floating island, like, wait, floating island? Uh, when you say floating? Okay, give me food, please. Multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Sure. What is that up there? Okay, I need food though. A uh, voxel shrub. Give me something I can eat. What is going on? Edible? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna grab a little bit of everything and hope I can eat it. Bobo! Give me literally all of it. I farmed a whole bobo tree, which is unfortunate for the environment, but delicious for me. Okay, but what? Well, I might as well not stock up on them. They're just going to go rotten by the time I need them. What in the world is all this nonsense? What is that up there? 
How do I get up there? It's a ship or something. Okay, okay, it's fine. I'm just going to explore. Let's explore everything. Minga plant? I feel like such a, it's just a rewards exploration so much. I feel like a crazy wild explorer. What kind of tree is this? Is this a specific kind of tree? It looks like a kind of like a willow. What in the world? I am very far away, I feel like. Maybe not? Am I on the other side of the Aurora? Oh, oh no. Wait, wait, but that side of the Aurora was where the shadow was. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I love this jungly biome here. It's so cool. What is going on? I need to go up the mountain to go to that, but I want to just explore more because it said multiple energy sources, so I'm assuming that's not the only th the only item of interest on this island. I definitely thought that was just going to be a little quick teleport down below, like a convenience thing. I did not anticipate this. This is huge. Absolutely huge. I'm an explorer, guys! Oh, careful, careful, careful. Nothing dangerous here either so far. Like, nothing that's trying to kill me, which is pretty new. Um, oh, here we go, here we go. Somebody... Did somebody try... Somebody tried to build a base here. Oh, my arch nemesis. They even made a farm? They didn't survive. Okay, you don't... <laughs> Motherfucking... Dude, God damn it, you're terrifying. Why are you so scary? What gives you the right to be so damn scary? Pick up Chinese potato? Pick up small marble melon? Okay, sure. I think the seeds are pretty busted, though. Right? A hearty... So these are, like, food from home. Oh, God, more skitter bugs. Oh, they found a purple tablet as well. Abandoned PDA. Oh! <gasps> Degasi! This is the D the Degasi! Wait, but I wanna... Okay, no, when we get everything and we, we, we check it out later at base. I wanna explore for now. We check out everything else later at base. This is the Degasi settlement, though. Oh, we found out about them! That's huge! Stasis rifle fragment? Yes, please! I need me a gun. Ho 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 ho! Ho 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 ho! Oh, yes. Don't mind if I do. Oh, wait, there's something stuck in there? Uh, how do I get in? There's something stuck in there, and I can actually scan things that are inside, so how do I get in? Because if you actually look over here, yeah, oh, wall planter? Well, I got planters and pots. You know, cave crawlers? Sure. Fuck you. Specimens with symptoms of infection. This organism is displaying signs of bacterial infection. Bright green blisters are forming networks around the infection sites. Pathology suggests waterborne bacterium capable of penetrating the body through the skin and respiratory system. Underlying indications of genetic mutation and aggressive behavior. So the reasons do not, under any circumstances, consume the flesh. So there is something about that that is causing um, death, destruction, misery, and woe. So, I probably... Multi-purpose room, I'll take it. I'll take the scan. So, am I going to become super aggressive and dangerous if I'm infected for too long? Is that the implication there? Oh, spotlight. Don't mind if I do. So much cool little shit here. I want to get up there, actually. I can do that if I go up above, but let's see. Can I get in? Okay. Vidoop. Anything here I can scan? Nope. Here we go, here we go. Open data box. Ultra ultra glide fin, streamline construct. Ooh. An upgrade to my fins. Now I believe there was a monster down here. A little a little a little doodad that wanted to, to hurt me. Or did I get him to the wall? Look at this greenery. Oh uh, abandoned PDA. Yeah, I'm gonna read all of this at once. Open supply crate. Battery. Bulkhead! We're getting so much cool stuff. Oh, I could have just come around here to the bulkhead. Okay, well, there. Fine, it wasn't a jumping puzzle. I'm not offended or anything, stupid babaka. That was beyond cool. I think I cleared out all the PDAs and everything over there, so I'm going to continue up to that. Why did they build that up here? And also, can I build a base on land? Is that what that's telling me? Can I actually build a habitat on land? I assumed it had to be underwater, but... Huh. And would it be even useful to build it on land? Like, honestly. Huh? Whoop, don't mind me. I'm just gonna skip on up. I thought I saw something. Oh, wait, there's one over there and one up here. Okay, so they kind of like capitalize these twin peaks. Okay, I'm gonna come up here first to this one. Wow, I can climb like a Skyrim horse. I did not even realize. Uh, the ledge is getting a little narrow. Hello? Oh, these pathways are so cool. 
Oh, I feel like I'm discovering so much, guys. Hello. Composite plant pot. I need my pots for my planty boys. Hello. Are, any monsters? No. I already scanned all this stuff. Ooh, 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 ooh. Observatory. Scan the entire room. So many cool rooms and stuff that I'm getting. Is this going to break if I step on it? Because that would be bad. PDA. Thank you. Okay, time to go to the other twin hill, I guess. Can I just, like, very... Oh, 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 I can mountain goat my way down, maybe? Oh, I love being a mountain goat. All right, anything of interest in here? Supply crate. Oh, sweet bottled water of mine. Hello. Indoor grow bed. Yes. More plants and everything. Lantern tree. Look at how cool it looks. Okay, I'm just going to take a little sample of everything. Pick up a lantern fruit. What does the lantern fruit do? Hello. Uh, it is edible. Okay, I'm just going to consume that. Don't mind me. I'm going to take a little bit of everything. Uh, I want, I want, a, a, can I get a fucking, does that count? Is that a lantern fruit seed I got? No, that's fern shit. Give me a lantern fruit. Give me, do I have to plant the lantern fruit? I can do that. I can do that. PDA. This island has been so freaking cool. Like, there's just so much here. Oh my god, what? Wait, 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 the fuck is, no, no, wait, wait, what is that down there? That is unnaturally blue beneath the water. That concerns me. Look over there. Oh, when is this the floating island? Are there giant floaters? Did that spoil that for me? Um. Oh, hello, moon. There's a cave over there. Okay, I need to get down there. There's like a, a PDA or something down there. I need to get down there. Hello, anything else here in this wild forest of mine? Cool plants, though. Ooh, wait, more stuff over here from the settlement. More uh, planting stuff, okay. Marble melons, that's all fine. But there's this is the stuff I'm actually more concerned with. Chinese potatoes, fully grown. Okay. So they did make a little bit of a farm out here. It feels like there's so much detail packed into this island. I wonder how long the Degasi, like, managed to live here. Like, the Degasi crew members. Okay, here we go. It's this part. How is the water as deep as it looks? <gasps> I hope so! <gasps> yeah! There's some sort of floating organism. Grew cluster. This isn't a real island! Oh, that's so cool! It's growing! Does this- does that mean the, the island moves? Okay, game, you like to freeze when I surface. Ancient floater! Unpowered? What? What do you mean, unpowered? What? What? What do you mean, unpowered? What does that mean? What? How's my scanner unpowered? What? Can I- I didn't know my scanner had a battery. God damn it. God damn it. How do I switch around my battery? No, how do I switch around my battery? I want to take my battery out of something else. Damn it. Ding is damn it. Okay, fine. That's fine. I got what I came here for. PDA. Rendezvous voice log. Integrating new PDA data. We'll check this out in a minute. All right, crew. Home is that away. And we have to go by that. Hopefully. Hopefully, I can get there without getting eaten by a sea monster. If I... 30% power on my seagull. Fuck me. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Didn't realize. Didn't realize I didn't have enough power on my seagull. Either. That's okay. We're going to do this nice and easy. Straight home. It's not even that far, right? Like, it's not even that far. It's fine. It's totally fine. What could even hurt me? Why do I feel like I'm much farther out at sea than usual? Oh, God, there's nothing down here. It's probably fine. Oh, God. My gut is telling me to go to the right. Oh, that's weird. How if you look at it, it seems like the clouds seem to solidify. My gut is telling me, go to the right of the Aurora. You know that's safe. Hello. Hello, Barnacle Breath. Yeah, will you stop making a Bershoffus? Eh? Can you start making a stop making a Kerskuffle anytime I go by you, please and thank you? Why is my life pod, why does it say it's that close? Is the Aurora an optical illusion right now? Oh no, I understand kind of. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I misunderstood entirely. I thought I was looking at the other side of the Aurora. I'm not. I'm looking... It did take me to the complete other side, opposite the island. I'm completely safe. Yeah, this is fine. I totally got myself backwards. I thought I was looking at the other side of the Aurora. We are Gucci. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you very much. It is nice to be home. Okay. I have some things to do. I need to make more lockers. I very much need to make more lockers. Uh... I, I, I need more lockers, guys. I need very much more lockers. Uh, let's put this battery in there. And let me go get this power cell. Can I please? How do I recharge scanner? Scanner recharge battery, I thought, but no. Why does battery no scan charge? Why? I've managed to store most of the things that are important. And it is good to be home. And I could start really, like grinding up materials and making this base fresh with all the stuff that I found. But let's listen to the radio real quick. This yes, live pod tell me your secrets. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Well, they're dead. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Uh, oh, okay, well, that should be fine. What's, what could even be the problem there? But yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here. This has been wild. We have discovered why this planet has been sealed off, why there's a boom boom cannon in the space room, and also we uh, found a Stargate to a new island in front of the Degasi. Wow. Okay. But yeah, thank you everybody for watching this video. If you liked this video, hit that like button. Hit it right now. Go hit it. But really, it, it, it does help me out, so thanks. And also leave comments down below. Thank you for all the tips you guys have been giving me. They've been super helpful. And I am excited to figure out what to do next. But until the next time, guys, I will catch you in the next video. Thallion out! I am the king of all the ocean that I survey.